Good morning, friends. I hope uh, your weekend has started well. Now, you know, this is a very important video because uh, the market is showing signs of a turning point. Now, a turning point need not be the end of the bull market, but a turning point from the perspective of a more than two, three day type correction that we have become used to. A turning point could be a multi-day correction where the order of decline could be about 10%. And uh, I will give you good reasoning for that. But like always, you know, do your own research, uh, you know, study things with your perspective. And this is a opinion. Trading and opinion is often different. So just trying to uh, understand where I am coming from and maybe use it in your trading would be a useful way of looking at this. Before we get started, you know, you guys have not been subscribing the channel, so please do that. We get lots of views, but uh, you know, we need subscription. I need to see your love coming through, and uh, please be generous with your likes. Uh, you know, share the video with your you know friends and family. Also, uh, the platinum group. Uh, is the flagship product where I'm sitting with you almost six and a half hours a day. And, uh, you know, in that group, we are talking about trading, psychology, money management, and all kinds of issues which are cropping up. And uh, our group has done reasonably well this sort of you know sudden falls uh, which have happened in the last few sessions so the idea is that uh, to have professional help in such sort of falls and uh, <laughs> So we have other services, silver, gold, diamond, etc., which offer continuous help. Now, you know, uh, if you have questions, please talk to uh, us at WhatsApp nine eight seven one zero six double three seven. And keep our email at Ashwini underscore. Gujral at yahoo.com So let's get started and uh, let's look at the S&P 500 like we start with all the time the S&P 500 isn't doing too badly even Yesterday's fall was not a big fall. Last couple of days have been narrow range bars. But uh, here we seem to be having an extraordinary fall. So let's move straight away to our own Nifty. See, Nifty, you made one top at 14,650. You made another top at 14,750. Prima facie, you know, this is a failure at higher levels. Now, this is a, just one part of the story. Last time we bounced back from 14,200. 
my sense is that we could give that up this time around you know, there are all kinds of rumors of tax increases etc and because of that maybe fis have also uh, decided to sit on their hands now on a weekly chart still there is you know two dojis which are getting formed and you know there is uncertainty on a weekly basis but why i am concerned on the market is because of the bank nifty but let's first give you a strategy for next week for next week we have our weekly pivots which are at 14450 so 14450 to 14500 is the level if sustained i would see the market as reviving its uptrend broadly you can say 14500 closing above that means that the bearishness has probably ended and the market is turned sideways on the bank nifty you need a closing above 31700 This, these are weekly levels so this is a stronger resistance than a daily resistance now let's uh, talk about the bank nifty where the problem is now, look at the size of the bars No, you have fallen thousand points a day for last two days. Somebody is telling me, you know, there is a transaction tax that is coming. Basically, these two bars have cleaned out action till I think thirtieth uh, of December. So we are back to thirtieth of December level. Entire January rally. has been cleaned out in two bars that is not you know the way a bull market behaves and recent lows which correspond to 14200 on the nifty about 31750 so we have just creamed through you know this first support and for the moment any rallies towards 31750 according to me is a selling zone and you know monday good result and results etc i would like to see you know how the market reacts to this but definitely the banks have weakened substantially over the last couple of days the market is worried about something coming in the budget and i don't blame them the sort of policies we often come up with to raise revenue are you know shooting ourselves in the foot again on a weekly basis if you see you know bank nifty has cleaned out couple of weeks worth of action with one bar this is a fairly strong bar and uh, you know for the last many weeks maybe since november or i would say even since 28th of september you have not seen this kind of a big red bar so any rallies into this may get sold into let's now look at some strong stocks let's start with the banking stocks this is kotak mahindra bank this looks like a you 
what? A dreaded head and shoulder. And you know, I am wary of doing this head and shoulder business in uh, most of the time in a bull market because what happens is that excuse me, my dog is having some you know tough problem but given the momentum of the fall in banks I would think this head and shoulder should be taken cognizance of again we have ICICI bank you have some sort of a double top which is forming here again this yesterday's bar is not good news the second time around when a market falls if it falls with harder momentum that basically means that there could be downside so that being said i wouldn't be surprised if bank nifty can lose another 2000 points and the nifty you could see 13800 whatever happens in the budget the markets have started to correct before that time now what can add fuel to this fire is that global markets start to top out at the same time so what is a looking like a potential correction right now could deepen now let's see the other fii favorite hpfc you made one peak then you came back then you made another peak and now you are again declining so again another financial it seems to be in trouble then you have the hdfc bank which again after making a higher high has started to collapse given the lack of momentum in banking there is a huge problem here the banking starts to underperform there is no way that the market can move higher although on the other side we have reliance kind of breaking out we have pcs it had a positive day even yesterday you have infosys it is still you know, not looking as bad as other stocks but it is the financial group which is going to lead this market on the downside now let's go back to our nifty and bank nifty and kind of made a make a strategy for Monday so let's uh, go back towards the 15 minute chart here now on the 15 minute chart it is clear that the 15 minute 200 is about 14 520 so broadly this 14500 zone if we do get any sort of open or an intraday rally which goes here i would look for a sell off to happen and that will again be led by bank nifty so anything in this 450 500 sort of zone you should start looking for a reversal on the bank nifty because it's had a harder fall i think 
any rally towards 31500 to 31700 in this zone should be used to sell what i don't want to do is i don't want to participate if we open flat or if we open gap down the odds of which are lower so what you want to do is wait for a decent pull back rally intraday and then try to take the downside this is important because the bank nifty is way over stretched so any sort of rally into this 31 800 so it can happen because of news etc some result something something so that would be a decent place to enter and price action is most important the level etc they can change by 50 point but the price action is very important so if this is the kind of double top we are looking at this is about 31800 to 32800 neckline of the double top so 30800 is an immediate possibility okay because you can see here this zone has some sort of action previously this is about 30800 so again if 30800 goes then you are looking at this 30400 to 30700 so again there is support nearby on bank nifty and that could encourage a rally but uh, you know this kind of vertical decline is scary so bank nifty is definitely sell on rally nifty you have to be more cautious in selling because yesterday you know in another market we could have thought of you know the nifty doing 300 400 down in fact we were positioning for that but it did only 200 so on a weekly basis the target on bank nifty is 30577 that is the s1 and similarly on a monthly uh, on a daily basis it is 30800 but i wouldn't be surprised even if s2 comes in so that is about 30500 so those are the broad targets you have on bank nifty and uh, similarly on the nifty if you start to reverse from these zone the first target would be 14279 and then 14187 basically once you know 14200 breaks i think you will have a fairly strong decline towards 13800 that may happen post the budget but uh, this is a quote and quote swing correction which means that in this correction the market is likely to break its 20 day moving average and go lower the 20 day moving average is very close by so it is about 14300 so i wouldn't be surprised if the nifty 
comes to its the nifty comes to its 50 day moving average let's just get an idea where that could be Fifty day moving average is about fifty day moving average is uh, at thirteen six fifty. Possibly it could rise a bit during the course of the uh, week, but uh, 13,650, 13,700, you know, that sort of zone could be a target zone for this correction. Similarly, Bank Nifty, again, I think it's getting closer to it's 50 day moving average and it could break this average. Okay, so I would think the bank nifty once this correction is done could be around 28,900. Yes, it's a far cry, but that is possible. So 13,650,700 on nifty, uh, 28,900, 29,000 broadly on bank nifty is possible so from here i am on sell on rally mode unless bank nifty can cross 31 500 700 or nifty can cross broadly 13500 550 that kind of zone so once you have these broad parameters it becomes easy to construct a trading strategy around this. That should be it for now. I hope this sort of analysis helped you a bit because there is something which is changing in the market and the falls are very really extraordinary. So I would not like people to be on the long side because the falls can become crunching. Now, whether it's because of some rumored taxes, etc., or what, that is not for me to say. But definitely, on a technical basis, the market has weakened. Take care, trade well, and please consult your financial advisor.